Hello everyone, it's Gojira Prime with another Transformers video and today i uh, just going to go over a couple of toy news items I've come across. Uh, but first of all, as always, I do have a Facebook page where I post pictures of my uh, toy collection. Uh, currently I'm just doing Transformers. Uh, my daughter has also hijacked the page a little bit, so I'm having to do pictures of her ladybug figures at this particular moment in time. Um, so if you do have the time, please do find the page, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and do feel free to comment on the pictures that I do post. Thank you very much. Uh, first bit of news uh, for today, Hasbro is doing another 1027 event. Uh, that's an event they are holding on the 27th of the 10th. Uh, uh, where they will be doing some more reveals uh, for the coming year. It's safe to assume from the image in front, uh, which is on T-Formers, that the event, I think, is probably going to be dominated by Ghostbusters merchandise. Um, obviously, Ghostbusters has had a bit of renewal in the last couple of years, what with Afterlife, which did very well at the box office, went very well with fans. Uh, I'm a big fan of the original two Ghostbusters film, and I thought Afterlife myself was a very well-made film. Uh, I thought it was a wonderful little nod to the original films, while at the same time trying to set itself up for something going forward. Hopefully uh, we'll also see some new Transformers reveals, ones that weren't covered in the um, Hascon event that was held a couple of weeks ago. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. I mean, I think at last year's event they ev they showed off uh, Death Saris and then the um, subscription or the you know the uh, you know the payment to, to do that figure went ahead not the day afterwards so hopefully we'll see something interesting something new uh maybe you know something uh, to do with a new tidal wave titan would be quite nice but you never know the other one piece of news that i found on t-formers the other day uh at the same time and you know as always i'm a little bit behind in reporting this um and if my computer will load up at the same time uh is a color image of the prototype figure here we are for the rumored and i use the word rumored there uh, leader class megatron now we've not had a movie verse megatron figure in quite some time um simply because he's not appeared in any of the films um he wasn't in bumblebee and he was not in rise of the beasts but they apparently did design one because if i remember rightly last year we did see some artwork appear um, of what the character could have looked like and now we have a colored prototype of what the figure uh is going to look like now the this figure has popped up on a couple of leaked lists um and is meant to be in theory coming out next year now i myself don't really collect live action um figures anymore uh i haven't done for quite some time i'm mostly focused on the generations line but i have to admit this guy does look really very good i mean obviously it's very heavily based on g1 um, as the Bumblebee line is in particular, it was especially in regard to how Optimus um, portrayed in the films. Uh, but this looks really, really good. And I thought at first this was going to be like a Voyager class, you know, a big Voyager class figure, really. Um, because a lot of the time you have Optimus and Megatron, and the figures are scaled pretty much at the same height. Um, but this guy is huge um next to him according to this article is a buzzworthy bumblebee optimus prime figure but he towers over optimus he really does and that caught me a little bit by surprise i mean that fusion cannon alone is absolutely massive now you can't tell from these images what he turns into my guess um is that he's going to turn into some sort of like tank or artillery 
story piece, which is typical of what Megatron tends to turn into these days. But the, according to the little sum up down here, if I can get this to work, he's meant to be coming out um, in February of next year, rumored to be at least anyway. So I kind of really do hope this guy comes out because I would like to see what the actual figure is going to look like and what the alternate mode is going to be. Because I'd be half tempted to make this my Megatron figure for my shelf. Um, currently I'm using the Earthrise Megatron. Um, but this one looks, yeah, anyway, February 2024. But this one looks so much better. And I really do hope, um, you know, we are actually going to see this guy come out. Um, because I would love to have this guy on my shelf uh, towering over um, the Decepticons and the vast majority of my Autobots as well. It's really, really cool. So, yeah, that's everything for today. Um, let me know what you think. Are you going to be watching the Hasbro Pulse 1027 event? And if this is a legitimate Megatron figure that's coming out next year, you'll be getting it. Uh, please do let me know in the comments below and thank you for taking the time to watch the video please comment subscribe like have a nice night thank you very much